Welcome to day 1,850 of What Shift to Know. Sharon Horn Nelson here, documenting the journey as I originally transitioned in 2017-2018 uh, from the brick and mortar corporate world of business over geez, almost 50 years now in business, different businesses, different entrepreneurial pursuits, different uh, over a quarter century of that simultaneously in corporate America, doing different things, working with different types of businesses in different industries, some I like better than others, but learning a lot and taking what I learned in one industry and transferring it to another. And that includes from the offline world to the online world and the online world to the offline world and back and forth again. So today I created a couple pieces of content running, uh, mixing up my schedule today a little bit, uh, brand new grandbaby, and so that means things change depending on what's going on exhausted parents and I can lend a helping hand so I do so our idiom for supersize your business today was let bygones be bygones and I had some thoughts about that with respect to forgiveness you know forgiveness is for me I'll forgive you for the situation but I will not forget I'm gonna remember and I'm probably gonna choose not to participate with you or your organization if you've caused me negative impact etc. We talked about that. We talked about uh, whether we hold grudges or not. Talked about, you know, burn me once, shame on you. Burn me twice, shame on me because I ought to have learned the lesson dealing with somebody that wasn't right for me in the first place. Uh, it took me a couple of life lessons to learn that, but I learned that if I didn't learn the lesson from the situation I was involved in, I was destined to repeat it. Not from the same people, the same type situation, but the lesson that I didn't learn from that situation. So uh, that's one thing that I kind of pride myself in. I make a lot of mistakes like we all do because we're human, but I learn from that mistake. And so I don't make the same mistake over and over again. Uh, I learn the lesson. I take the lesson with me and I use it as a stepping stone to create what it is that I want in my life. Uh, our topic for this year's annual challenge, the Get Your Goals annual challenge is letting go of emotions. We're focusing on emotions this month, emotional things that don't serve us anymore. So I shared a whole bunch of creative, funny ways that I have used to let go of emotions, thoughts, feelings, beliefs, because we'll talk about that more in depth when we get into the mental well-being aspect of our life. But uh, our emotions and our feelings, we experience those first. And then our thoughts and our beliefs and bubble up from our subconscious and reinforce the feeling that we're feeling. So if we are nervous or anxious in a situation, our, our subconscious is really magical. It will serve us up all the times that we've been nervous or anxious in the past and why we should feel that way. It'll justify our feelings. So we experience something physically and mentally and emotionally through our feelings and our emotions. And then we justify that with, with reason and evidence of why it's real and true for us. And we think we just do that in buying decisions, but guess what? We do that in everything. We do it to maintain our identity. We do it in, and again, deep psychological things that I don't have a deep understanding or, or knowledge of. I just know how it works on me and that I'm not unique in that it works on me that way. Other people experience the same or similar thing. You know, each of us experience our experiences through the filter of our unique perspective, our past experiences, our current situation, our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, the things we choose to think about and focus on, read and, and experience because that's part of our experience. And so even though it's slightly different and we think that it's all about us, for us it is all about us, but for everybody else on the planet, it's all about them. I hope that makes sense. So I talked about that. I shared a bunch of fun ways because I learned and I did it a long time ago. I was still running the Italian food manufacturing business. I did an exercise where I ran through a bunch of creative ways to get rid of a false belief that I had. The belief that I wasn't good enough. I didn't deserve to have the things I wanted to have. I didn't deserve to create the businesses I wanted to create, etc. And so I wanted to get rid of that false belief because it is a false belief. We always just believe our beliefs are, are true and our beliefs are our beliefs. But a lot of them are just lies we tell ourselves and we pile evidence on to make us think that they're true for us, but they're really, they don't have to be true for us. We just keep deciding that they're true for us. And then we find more evidence to prove that they are, even though they're not true. They're an absolute lie that we tell ourselves. Again, sounds confusing, but if you start thinking about it, you're like, 
starting to unravel some of the things in your life and some of the different situations you found yourself in and you're like, oh my God, you mean 20 years ago I could have made a different choice here? Mm, yeah, but at the time I didn't believe I could. I didn't believe that I could make a different decision in that situation. And were I to, the only way I would make a different situation, a different decision or choice in that situation was if I know everything I know now and somehow had a time machine and could go back in time and change it. Otherwise, nope. Because I think that as humans, we do the best we can with what we've got at the time, at the moment that we're making a choice or a decision. And it's only after we go down a road, we realize if it is or is not right for us. And the sooner we realize that it's not right for us and make adjustments, the better off we are. So uh, if you're curious about different ways to let go of things, there's a bunch of creative ideas there in that in the uh, annual challenge video. And then there's some discussion on letting bygones be bygones and forgiveness and supersize your business today. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, busy, busy, busy around here. Uh, and I'll, of course, see you tomorrow.